Okay, we're gonna walk up, and the important part of the floor there is this KZJ 73. It's been parked there, I don't know, about the last week, so you don't see anything on the ground from any oil leaks. Uh, it's a 1995, it's the mechanical injection pump, so 1KZ um, T, not the TE. And we bought it for a couple reasons, came from dry area of France. The shop that we got it through had been doing the maintenance work and they know what they're doing with these. They'd done the clutch, they'd done the injection pump, they'd done the timing belt. So I I liked it too because I had the original graphics on the side. So I like the retro graphics. We started with the hood up here so we can do a cold start. Um, here at Run, it does have some custom side exhaust. So you see your preheat light. Oil pressure, temp down, and she purrs. So, a clean engine bay. And they did just a little simple pipe out exhaust coming back to here. It's not crazy loud or anything, but it's, it's a good note. It lets it escape real quick. And you can see the original graphics on the side. Now you can see some parts inside of it. We've been daily driving it. My mother has really been the one that has drove it the last like three weeks. And she traded cars with me for a Honda Civic EK4. And then I used it to go pick up the parts in there from our painter. It's for a Defender. So she actually runs spectacular. Um, spools up nicely. I mean, you can run it up to interstate speed. Here's your body plate. And clean undercarriage. Rides real nice. Put it down. It does have a limited slip rear end, which is nice in low traction situations. Interior is clean, has power windows, tilt wheel, push button four wheel drive with the push button um, front hubs, your altimeter, your little tilt meters. So I thoroughly enjoy the KZJ 73s, 70s, 77s, um, yeah, the whole gamut. Like I said, I left little parts in here to show we, we actively drive all of our vehicles. So we've been driving this one off and on, use as a daily. I've been taking it home. You know, turnkey. One of the best running KZJs we've had, even though it has some miles on it and has some character. It's not perfect, has a little patina on it, but like I said, I really enjoy the original graphics. There's, if you look at some other ones in here, um, they've changed out the corner lenses and then the one on the side, you kind of have that smoked lens. Ball around really straight, um, good running. I would trust it drive about wherever. The top is removable, so it's up the top. It's a could be a little bit of a hassle to get it off, but it's not impossible after you've done it a couple times. One of the hidden bolts is under here. The top, you have four going across, and then there's some of the inner panels. But what I like about these is you also have an integrated roll cage. So if you have kids, adults, whoever in the back, you actually have a three-point harness, and it comes across this crossbar coming up. Um, has power windows. Let's see. Has rear wiper, rear defrost. Pioneer head unit, which we normally don't test aftermarket equipment like that. Um, but you know, if you want us to put in a deck for you, that's not a problem at all. It does have running boards on it, that's side exhaust. You look, the frame's clean. A lot of these, they'll get rust inflicted down here. All the inner wheel wheels are clean. 
And another key thing people don't think about is on these, normally because of the European laws, your marker lights would be in the bumpers down here. So the two on the side are actually dummy lights and the fixtures don't have wiring running up to them depending on the model Land Cruiser. This one's been converted, so that is why the fixtures are new on both sides and you see them being shiny. They took out, they made that tubular bumper, which is custom, but they had to relocate the lights, which means they had to buy fixtures with the housings in them. So interesting bit of tidbit of fact there. Yeah. So if you see moisture, I did just wash it since we've been daily driving it. You can see our painted parts here. And this is just right on the surface. Again, back to the wheel wells. They're clean, you have a clean frame. It's a five-speed manual. So what the shop that we got it from told us is it was an old man that owned it. They were just doing the maintenance work on it, so they were helping them sell it. But if you have any questions, just let us know.